G'day everyone, Sifu Paul here. So, last time I did some uh, conditioning of the forearms and shins and body. So what I wanted to do today was just to cover hand conditioning. So there's lots of different ways of doing it. Uh, some people use a wall bag and punch to the different levels of the wall bag. You can use that for striking and so on. I don't have a wall bag. Some people use a setup with a bag in front of them to punch, a bag either side to strike like so, and a bag down the bottom. So they actually have an arrangement with a sandbag in front, a sandbag to either side, and a bag down the bottom. So they can punch, drop, jut, sour, knife, strike. So I don't have that set up either. What I do have is this. <clears throat> so I've got my grab bag. We talked about that last time. So that can be used as a striking medium. Alternatively, I've also got this, which is my bag, canvas bag, triple layer, and it's filled with sand. Now, if you're going to do conditioning for the first time, don't fill it with sand. You can do this with a, a piece of a, a jeans leg, fill it with rice if you want to, or mung beans, sew it up, and start doing these exercises with that. Gradually, once you've done that for a few months, you work up to maybe filling it with some sand. So, which is what I've done here. Now, the other thing you might want to do is get some jowl. Uh, the reason I use the jowl is because my hands, I do not want to get uh, calluses on the knuckles. I want my fingers to be limber. I want to keep the sensitivity in my fingers. So I just use a cap full, rub that in on my hands before and after training, before and after conditioning training. Now, if you're going to do this to the point of wanting to be able to break things, so to be doing iron palm, then talk to Sifu Gary, Sifu Linda about it, because you really want to combine the conditioning with Qigong exercises to strengthen your whole body because breaking things is not just about conditioning your hand it's about your whole arm structure and your internal strength so you really need to be looking at doing some Qigong exercises with your conditioning but for what we're doing today which is just some general conditioning of the hands to make them stronger and harder. There's no point learning martial art and then the first time you are called into play and actually have to hit someone with intention and you punch someone in the head, if your fist is not capable of striking someone in the head which is entirely made up of bone, then you could easily break your wrist, you could break your fist, break your knuckles, break your fingers, break your thumb. So the whole point of conditioning is so that you are able to strike things and not worry about hurting your hand. So, again, you don't start off by hitting the bag really hard. So in your first month or so, all you do is this. Some people say do this once a week, not enough. You really need to be doing it at least five times a week, maybe six times only going to take you a few minutes every day. Over time you build up. So you start off with a sequence of strikes. So I use five strikes. The first one is a flat hand. Turn the hand over, drop. Knife hand. Fist. Heel of the palm. Like the palm strike. So, starting again, and then on the left hand, palm, back of the hand, knife hand, fist, 
And again, I'm hitting with the three knuckles that we tend to favor in Wing Chun. Other styles use uh, the two knuckles, but for the purposes of this, and then heel of the palm. So that's one repetition. So in the first week or two, just do 10 lots of that. So again, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So doing that 10 times, build it up to 20 times. Don't start going. Don't start doing that. Okay, if you do that, you're going to injure your hand and that will take a long time to heal. So start off light, just drop the hand. So gravity does its work. The force you exert is the mass times the acceleration. Acceleration is 9.8 meters per second when you just let something drop. So. I'll reiterate, start off light. Just use the weight of your arm. Gradually, do that for a month. Second month, you'll start using more of your arm. After three months, four months, five months, you'll start building up to use the energy, the mechanics of your whole body when you're striking. So when you strike, you're not just going, because that's what we're doing as a beginner. We're just doing a basic punch, doing a basic palm strike, basic palm strike. We're not going, bam, and powering off the ground, using our whole body mechanics to strike. That is what you may be doing after six months or 12 months of doing iron palm. But, when you start out, just do this. One, two, three, four, five. Some people will use their fingers as well. Some people will go one, two, three, four, and actually strike there along that side of the knuckle. Four, five. It's up to you. Do the same. Now, position of the hand, sometimes over here, sometimes over it by my side. Doesn't matter. Be in a neutral stance, knees bent. Focus when you do it. Concentrate on what, what you're doing. Think about it. Think about how your hand feels when it strikes the pad. Over time, you build it up, you go to the next level. Then you go to the next level after that. But don't do this all on your own. Do it in conjunction, talk to Sifu Gary or Linda. And develop, use this time while we're in lockdown to start working on your conditioning. So if you ever do, get called into delivering that punch, you got some power in it. Thanks for listening, have a great time, and uh, hopefully we'll all be back in class soon.